Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope all of you guys are having a pretty good day today. I am at Sam's Club right now. If you guys don't know what that is, it is where I buy my sodas. Well, not really my sodas, but my snacks, you know, my candy, my chocolate, everything like that. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you my best sellers, everything I buy. So if y'all do enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's go inside. Okay, so starting off at the chip section, we got, as you guys can see, there's so many different options of chips. All these are new guys, I've never seen this before. I might even just get, the, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these right now, actually. These look like they'll be pretty good sellers, guys, especially at my barbershop location. A good example would be these Takis, as you guys can see. They are 11.28. Each bag comes out to 24 cents each. These bags are actually pretty small, so you might only be able to sell them for like 75 cents, maybe even 50 cents, because, you know, they're about like that big. They're pretty small. But these chips over here are the ones that I normally buy so every now and then I do buy these for my barbershop location but the chips that I buy the most are these over here they're called the variety mix and the flaming hot mix these right here if you guys take a look they are 11.78 and they go for about 40 cents each and I do sell the chips for one dollar because you know it's, it's a pretty good fair price uh, I do make about 60 cents per each bag okay so now we are at the candy section as you guys can see there is a ton of different types of candies I don't really buy a whole bunch of different types of candies only like the main ones like you know Skittles, Airhead Bites, Sour Patch. For example, if we take a look at the Sour Patch, they are about $15 each. Each one comes out to $0.62. Cents. One of my best-selling candy would be the Airhead Bites. People love these guys. So for the Skittles, there's so many different types. You know, we got Wild Berry, Sour. The ones I buy would mostly be the red ones. And every now and then, I would buy the blue ones. Because these over here, you know, they're too risky. But I mean, that's pretty much it for the candy. I don't really sell Airhead Extremes. Starburst, I do sell. I've been to other centers and they have a lot more different types of candy but like I said the candy I get the most would be red skittles you make about 40 cents profit if you sell them for a dollar or 65 cents if you sell them for 125 okay now we are in the pastry section and guys pastries are my number one top seller every single time I put it in my machines I always sell out I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of my top selling pastries so number one these right here guys so these chocolate donuts People absolutely love these, you know, maybe it's for breakfast. All of my locations always, always sell out in like three, four, five days. Coming in in number two for my second top seller will be these cupcakes. You guys have heard of me talking about them in some of my videos. But for example, on the donuts, they come out to 43 cents each and I do sell them for a dollar. I do know some people that have like their pastries, like their cinnamon rolls and their danishes for 125. And the cupcakes are about 50 cents each. So I do sell them for a dollar and make about 50 cents profit. And I I always do buy cinnamon rolls and danishes they do sell pretty good but they don't sell as good as like the cupcakes or the donuts they come out to like about 58 cents each and the same with the chocolate I don't buy different types of chocolate I just get the normal ones like for example peanut M&Ms recess but my number one selling chocolate guys is Snickers that is what sells the best for me you know I know some people their best sellers would be like recess maybe M&Ms but for me it's Snickers it is almost $30 for one box and they each come out to like 60 cents it's about the same price as the candy I do sell them for a dollar so I only make about 40 cents profit I know a lot of people sell them for 125 my number two top seller for chocolate is gonna be Twix they love those and these also about 60 cents each but the chocolate that I normally buy is gonna be Snickers recess peanut M&Ms uh, let's see what else I wanted to try almond joys but I'm not sure how well they would do uh, three musketeers people hate them over here they don't like him. Kit Kats, every now and then, they do good. I do buy Hershey's, but not the regular ones. I buy the almond ones. They are a little bit more expensive, but people like these better. Every now and then, you will get a location where like an employee tells you if you can put like a certain type of chocolate or a certain type of candy. For example, I don't sell Butterfingers, but if an employee comes up to me and he's like, hey, can you put Butterfingers in the machine? It's my favorite chocolate. Then of course, that is when I will put the, you know, whatever I don't sell in the machine. I did try to sell Chips Ahoy once, but they didn't really do good. Um, so I, I never bought them again. It was actually these. I bought one box of fruit snacks when I very first started, which was like six months ago. And I still have that box to this day. So if that says anything, you know, fruit snacks, they don't sell at all for me. Or basically anything healthy in my machines, I just, I can't get rid of them. I've actually thought about selling like apple juice or orange juice in some of my locations. But guys, my favorite drink is actually orange juice. So if I do ever buy orange juice, I'm just gonna drink it all. Uh, Cause I can't help it, you know, it's my favorite drink. And by the way guys, root beer is completely disgusting. I really don't know how some people can drink root beer. It tastes nasty, it smells nasty. I never buy it just because, you know, they never ask for it and people don't really drink root beer.
be over here. Guys, I've been in this aisle for literally 10 minutes. Employees keep coming, customers. I did come as soon as they open, so I'm guessing people are starting to come. But my number one top seller for soda is Dr. Pepper, guys. People over here, they love Dr. Pepper. Coke is actually a pretty good seller also. I also do sell a lot of Monster. If you guys take a look, it's about $31 per case. Each one comes out to about $1.35. And something I do sell a lot is also water. I do buy the 20 ounce because I used to buy the 16 ounce over there because it does come with more and it's cheaper. Every now and then switch something up. You know, maybe switch a snack, maybe a drink. Because guys, people actually do get bored of the same thing. So like I said, you know, just switch something up, anything. Bottles of soda, I don't even sell anymore. But if you are going to buy bottles, each one is about 50 cents. And whenever I did sell bottles, I sold them for $1, sometimes $1.25. Okay guys, so it's time to go now. You know, there's so many people, employees keep passing by. I ended up just putting random stuff on the card just so they can think that I'm buying something. Okay, let's see if this family dollar has enough milk. Ah, oh, they don't. Guys, what's up with Family Dollars not having milk? Okay guys, so I just left Family Dollar and some of you guys have heard me say before that I do sell milk in some of my locations. I do get it from Family Dollar, it's about a dollar and I do sell it for two dollars. Guys, so I'm here at the first location. I'm gonna go ahead and take in the chips first and the snacks and then after I will go ahead and take all the drinks. Okay, so today we got $159.90. The reason why I didn't put this location in one of my collection videos is because this location is always really busy and it's really hard for me to record inside. Also, a lot of you guys actually want longer videos, so from now on, I would try my best to make the videos longer. And that's why I put this little collection as part of the video. But anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, turn on your notifications. That way you guys know every single time I upload a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.